Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rachakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Yeah, I just wanted to do a video on this that article I found that uh, Jake was, uh, well, you're going to see it. It says, uh, Subway motormen let women drive a train with passengers during their date. And it seems like as we're getting closer and closer to the end, Jake is not paying attention to the things that's going on. And he's just getting, Jake is just, and when I mean Jake, the Israelite man, is just getting worse and worse and worse and doing the most stupidest things ever as far as to, you know, when I read the article, you're going to see it, but you know, if, if you see this article or, you know, just from seeing the uh, title, you're going to get the gist that, you know, Jake probably most likely lost a job. And I believe he did when I read the article. And it's just, you know, why, Jake? Why you got to do foolish things like this? Why would you bring your woman to your job to drive your, to drive the train? Now, what if she did something that could have cost people's lives? Now, when you read, when I read the article, you're going to see nobody's lives was lost. But what if something did happen? You know, now you're in trouble for, you know, causing hundreds or maybe a couple people's lives lost because you let you brought your woman on a date, a supposed date with you on the train to your job to drive the train for you. And what if something bad had happened and she could have, you know, I don't know, maybe pressed the wrong button and some people could have died on the train all because of your foolishness, man. The Israelite man has not been brought up with any type of like sense at all from you know fathers because most of our fathers are either in jail or either you know the father's not at home for whatever reason whether the mother may have kicked him out or you know he may have left on his own or the father might have died so there's no you know the uh the Israelite man is not able to put uh wisdom not wisdom and knowledge into his son and teach him things of what to do and what not to do man this is son that you don't do at all man why would why jake why would you bring your woman to your job to have a date with her when you're supposed to be working. But I'm gonna read the article and hopefully Lord's willing this is edifying. It says this month a train operator created a massive outcry after he allowed his date to operate the train. To make matters worse, this happened while passengers were on board. A MTA motorman has come under fire for for purportedly putting passengers' lives at risk when letting his date control a D train as it traveled via multiple stations. And, yeah, that's the uh, individuals there. What might have seemed like a sweet gesture on his part did not sit well with others. Police are now said to be investigating the circumstances related to the alleged incident which occurred in Brooklyn. And that's another thing, Jake. If you're going to do something, that's another thing. It's like, why put it on social media? Or why take pictures and put it, like, for what? You're just getting yourself in trouble. Okay, fine. You want to do it. It's not wise. But you want to do it, keep it to yourself. Why you got to put it out there for everybody to see and don't think that somehow somebody, your supervisor, may see it? Just foolish, man. It says, Dominique Belgrave was the woman who showcased the encounter on her Instagram story. So here again, why? Why? In it, she allowed her followers a glimpse at her train date. The train operator, Terrell Harris, could be seen holding Belgrave's hand over the train controls. They made their way, they made their way through the 50th Street, 55th Street, and 62nd Street stations. <laughs> The woman revealed the story herself and most likely never expected the backlash that soon came her way. In one, one of her clips, she said, yes, this is me operating the train ride, train now. And yeah, that's exactly, especially the Israelite woman, never thinking of, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, never thinking of, oh, and if I put this on, you know, social media, you know, my boyfriend could uh, lose his job because what if his supervisor or somebody sees that and it goes viral and everything goes viral on uh, social media these days, you know, that happens and that he could lose his job. You know, they don't think about that, man. There's no thought process of like, hold on, wait a minute, let me stop and think for a second. No, it's just that saying that I remember from high school, everything is a go, let's just, let's just do this crazy shit. Never stop to think like, hold on, let me really think, and is this a wise thing to do? What if something happens to where you could lose your job? Or something like that, or what if somebody dies? No, let's not do this, man. Let's just keep a simple date, whatever. No, f forget that. Let's just do this. 
foolishness. Especially putting on social media where everybody can see it. Now, you to you sincere sisters who don't do things like that, you know, good. Keep, uh, you know, stay in that spirit. Don't do that type of stuff. But this is mostly, you know, to bring out the foolishness of our, uh, of the Israelite man that, you know, it really starts with the man that he doesn't think like, you know, this is your job. I'm pretty sure she has her own job. If she doesn't, you know, this is your job and you're going to lose your job if people find this out. But, you know, that that thought didn't come across his mind. He just wanted to, you know, do something for his woman. Now, uh, you know, I only have one precept that uh, came to mind with this. I'm pretty sure there's others. You could probably put them in the uh, comment section if you like. It says her clips can no longer be accessed because she has changed her settings to private. However, the damage was already done, right? In one of the clips, Belgrave allegedly uh, appeared alone at the controls as she posted for a selfie. Now, let's say, you know, while she was posting for a selfie, her hands wasn't on control. The train could have maybe, I don't know, stopped on its own, son. Somebody may could have flew out the seat, flew into a pole. And, you know, flew so hard into the pole and died. But, you know, obviously that would have went on the man because the man is the one who brought the woman there. But again, like I said, no, no thought process, man. It says, clip went viral. Another video showed Belgrave as she returned to the public section of the locomotive. She could be heard saying, back inside I go. Her footage went viral shortly after fellow MTA workers laid eyes on it. A supervisor also saw it and uh, consequently reported to the NYPD. Interim Transit President Craig, I hope I'm saying his last name right, Craig Soprano, or Soprano expressed that the train op uh, operator betrayed the trust of New Yorkers while creating a dangerous condition. All in the name of love, right, Jake? It says the operator was disciplined. A soprano, I hope I'm saying that name right, also stated that the oper uh, operator would face disciplinary, disciplinary action. He added, I want to assure customers that the operator involved has been removed from service and will no longer be allowed to control trains. So it sounds like, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, sounds like he lost his job. So now how are you going to take a woman on a date now since you ain't got a job now, Jake? Should have thought about that. Um, since the incident went viral, Belgrave has not remained silent and shared controversial comments online. She stated that the public has been harassing her and purported that she was famous thanks to the train drama. Well, yeah, that's... Yeah, and of course she's going to say nobody died. In a later post, she expressed regret for her actions, stated, I feel really bad and there's no amount of sorries that can fix things. But you see, this could have all been avoided... If you guys have just, you know, think, think before you act. But again, this falls on, on the parents because the parents starts with the, um, you know, the man being in the house. There's no Israelite man in the house to tell, you know, the, uh, the younger generation coming up what to do, how to act, how to conduct yourself and things like that. It's just, you know, the ways of the world just go, go, go and do all this foolishness. So you see, they wasn't brought up in a white uh, in, in the right way. To, you know, to, to use your mental, to use your, your brain and think, you know, not to do these things. Because now you want to sit there and say you're sorry. But what if somebody had died? You still going to say sorry? Don't you think that wasn't a wise thing to do? But that, that thought process never occurred before everything. It was just, yeah, let's just do this stupidness. Uh, despite the apology, she added another comment. In it, she expressed, nobody died, it wasn't a bumpy ride, leave me alone. See, and then again, that's not wise. Because what if somebody did? And still, it wasn't wise because the man, your boyfriend, is the one who's the, um, the train operator, not you. Why are you there? You're not supposed to do, be there. You know, the, the MTA is paying the man to operate the train. And here it is, you're the one driving the train? That's not what we set up, man. That's out of order. That's... That's not what they. That's not what's. That's not what the setup is. And then you want to make a comment. Oh, nobody died. Leave me alone. You can't say something like that, man. That's foolish. But I got one precept. Maybe another one that just came to mind. Actually, I 
is uh, First Ezra chapter 4 and verse 26. It says, Yea, there be many that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished and have erred and have sinned for women. And that's what you see with this man right here. You know, he wanted to impress his woman so much that he brought her. I'm surprised nobody even, because, you know, you, you got to go inside, uh, you know, obviously the train, open that door inside and go inside. I, I'm surprised nobody saw them go inside. Or nobody saw when he came to work that he brought his woman with him and he went inside the train with her and things like that. I guess nobody peeped that. Maybe they did in a slick way. I don't know. But, you know, all to impress your woman, you have erred and now you have lost your job. And now if you try to, you know, get another MTA job, you're known as the you're famously going to be known as the guy that brought his woman to work. And it's like, nah, I don't want you here. Next thing you know, you bring your children to the job or something. I don't know if he has kids or do another foolish act. You're going to be known as the foolish train operator. And nobody's going to want to hire you. And why? Because it's went viral. Now it's going to be hard for you to get another job because people are going to know you as that foolish guy that did something so foolish. Matter of fact, another precept just came to mind. It's, this is Proverbs 31 and 3. It says, Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that to that which destroyeth kings. Right. You know, you've given your way to women, and now what? Because you want to so much impress her so much and take on some exotic date, I guess. Now what? You've you've been destroyed. Now you've lost your job, and now, like I said, you're known as that famous train operator that has done that foolishness, and it's gonna be really hard for you to get a job now, if at all. And with the way things are going, you're going to want to, you know, hold on to your job. You know, if you're in this world and you want to continue in this world, of course, you know. But, yeah, prayer this video is edifying. To you, Israelite men out there that are, you know, in the scriptures, you know, attaining unto the wisdom knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Hashah, you don't have nothing to worry about, but just want to bring the edification out. And also to you women that are not like that, that won't make your man or influence your man to do things like that, keep it up. But this is just to show the folly of our, our people and just show that our people have no wisdom, knowledge, understanding to just think, to stop and think and say, no, this isn't a good idea, you know? But we want to give all the honor and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak, Wadash, Shalom.